Hey, this is just a quick video to show you guys how to find the equation of the tangent line. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's say we have some function here. Maybe the function y is equal to x squared, which looks like this. And let's say we have some point of interest, like x equals 3. And the question is, that you may see, find the equation of the tangent line to the function at the point x is equal to 3. Okay, so what does that mean? Visually, what that means is, I have a graph of the function, I have a point of interest, x is equal to 3, and then remember what a tangent line is. Tangent line is a line that's just going to touch right at that one point, and it's not really touching any other points on the, line, on the graph, and that should look like a perfect line there. That line right there is going to be the tangent line, and it's going to have an equation which is going to match the normal form of the equation of a line, y is equal to mx plus b. If somebody asks you a question to find the equation of a tangent line, you're going to answer y is equal to some number for the slope times x, the variable, plus some number for the b. Okay, so the main thing that we have to do here is our goal is going to be get values for m and b. Alright, so let's call this a two-step process. We have a goal where we need to get the values for the m and the b, and the answer will be y is equal to number x plus number. Okay, so step one, we're going to get the m. Now, how do you think I'm going to find the slope of the tangent line? What was I saying was the slope of the tangent line? That's the derivative, right? The derivative conceptually is how steep or shallow this line is when it's touching just one single point on the graph, okay? The normal way that I would get the slope in a usual problem, if I gave you um, two points and I asked you to find the equation of the line between them, is you would do the difference in the y over the difference in the x. However, there's a problem here. We don't have two points. We don't have a secant line. We just have a tangent line, and it's just touching right at that one point. See, this is a point right here. Let's call it 3, comma, let's see, 3 squared is 9. This is the point 3, comma, 9. Okay, so I can't do like y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 because I only have one single point. So now I have to go to the derivative. Alright, now there's different ways that you're going to get derivatives. In the beginning, you'll be working with the limit definition of the derivative. As we move on quite quickly, you're going to use the power rule to get the derivative. So you may have seen those videos before you even watch this video. For step number one, you're going to have to get the derivative. Sorry, get the slope m. Um, this is going to be equal to the derivative of f at the point of interest. Okay, here our point of interest is 3, and let's refer to y also as f of x here. So basically, we're just going to get the value of m by finding the derivative of our f of x, and then evaluating it at 3. Okay, so whatever way you know how to do it, you get the derivative, and in this case, the function is x squared, and its derivative is 2x. Now, if you're just starting out, you may want to derive this from the limit definition. If you already know the power rule, you can see how the power rule will get you to there. But for this video, the idea is just, you got to get the m. How you're going to get the m is, you find the form of the derivative, and then you plug in the point of interest. So that's going to be 2 times 3, so we get 6. Okay? And that's it. Getting the m is easy as long as you've already got some sort of statement for the derivative. So here, step one, we got the conclusion that m is equal to 6. Okay, halfway to our goal, now we have to get the value for b. So in step two, we're going to get the b. And usually when you get the b, some people might use the slope-intercept form or um, whatever. Here we're going to use the point. Use the xy point, and in this case it's 3, 9. Okay? So remember, we only have one point to deal with. We only have one point available. So we're going to have to use the point that we were given. And we also know that the functional form of the answer is y equals mx plus b. So what this point says is that when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 9. So y is equal to 9, right? And then the slope is 6. And that's why the slope is step 1. You're not going to be able to do this trick unless you have a value for the slope, because you have to put it right there. 
and then the x there is 3, and then the only left unknown is b right there. I don't know what the b is. Okay, so that's as easy as that. You can see that this is going to be 18 plus b is equal to 9, and so therefore b is equal to negative 9. And then my overall conclusion is that the equation of the tangent line is y is equal to 6x minus 9. That's the answer I'm going to box if somebody asks me for the equation of the tangent line. So I just got it. y is equal to 6x minus 9. Now if I want to know if I'm correct, hopefully you've taken the function that you were given and made a nice graph of it so you can kind of visualize and check your answer. Here's the point 3 right here. Here's the tangent line going through it. And if I extend the tangent line going all the way down, I can see that, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because it looks like it has a y-intercept of minus 9. That's the y-intercept right there. And it looks like it's going up pretty fast. It's got a slope of 6. And so I've kind of visually checked my answer against the concept of what the tangent line is.